Okay, here's the uh, here's the ratings. <laughs> Good lead in. You know what I had yesterday? A vintage Twitter. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got to put up the uh, head to head, and everybody got to go all crazy. But uh, here it is: Dynamite on Tuesday this week did seven hundred fifty-two thousand viewers, down twenty-three point five percent from last Wednesday. Lowest audience since October 23rd of last year when it aired on a Saturday. 18 to 49. Eighth on cable with a .26. Then we've got NXT. 676,000 viewers, down 8.3% from last week. Twelfth on the charts with a .18 rating, which is up 20% from last week, actually. Year over year, we got all that kind of stuff right here, so... Uh, the, the gist of it is in the in the viewership, AW1, 752 to 676, and in the 18 to 49, Dynamite 1, with a with a 0.26 to uh to a 0.18. You know I don't I don't like to uh you know twist a knife or anything like that. Okay. But I got oh, a <laughs> I got a buddy in WWE. He's always harassing me and you as well. And uh, you know the other day I was talking about how um. You know, we're doing we're doing the Observer Radio show on Tuesday instead of Wednesday this week because the shows are head to head on Tuesday. And he says, he goes, Oh yeah? Why why aren't you doing it Wednesday? Are you afraid for when the ratings come in? And I was like, Well, first off, I don't care either way, number one. Number two, it wasn't even my call. So anyway, you know, he, he thought that we were avoiding doing the show on Wednesday because we'd have to talk about the ratings. Well, what does that indicate? That indicates to me that he thought that NXT was going to win. Yeah, I, that's what I would figure. So yeah. it didn't win. No. And then you know what he says? What's that? He goes, well, we weren't trying to win. <laughs> <laughs> the only winners were the fans, Brian Alvarez. The only winners were the fans. They were just trying to provide a bounty. A bounty. Look, at 1.428 million people, is that what it is? 1.428 million people joined in on that bounty, or at least filled in their Nielsen books with that as opposed to the sports that they were watching, because for both NXT and AEW, they were both down. Obviously, AEW on a different night, but the bottom line is... The two hockey games, uh, again, depending on what city you're in, that actually matters. The NBA games opening day, for heaven's sakes, with 18 to 34, 18 to 49. I mean, come on, get out of here. So I got again, more in major, in major League Baseball. So, I mean, what can you do? Both of these shows, uh, what are you doing, listen, here, everybody? Listen, I, I, I couldn't figure out why. First, first, all I hear is that I'm the only person that loves, it's my favorite show, I love NXT. I'm the number one flag bearer for NXT. You are, you are the, and then the of course kneel they, down stand up type. Then they go head to head and everyone's like, oh, he's going to have an agenda now. Well, which is it? Is it my favorite show that I'm the flag bearer for or do I have an agenda for AEW? Here's, Uchi Wally yeah, or listen, One Mike everyone, with Brian Let's Alvarez. cut to the chase here. <laughs> let's cut to the chase. Both of these shows did great. I know some of you don't want to believe it. But that's that's true. How Both of these good? shows did great. Dynamite, yeah, obviously they were well below their their one million nine hundred eighty thousand or whatever. But like, what were you expecting? They were moved to a different night. They were going head to head with NXT and a whole bunch of sports. And if you exclude sports programming, they were the number one show on cable. If you exclude sports programming for NXT, they were like number four. So both of these shows, uh, given the circumstances, they both did great. But everyone has to freak out, oh, well, this and that and whatever. Can't you say they did really good? You don't have to say great. No, they actually did great. Okay. Do, you, do you know, okay, what, what was Dynamite down uh, from last week? Uh, they were down 23%, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to go and look at how far SmackDown was down when they had to move to FS1 on a different night? They were down like 65%. Dude, moving to a different night hurts everybody. It hurts WWE. It hurts AEW. It would hurt NXT. It would hurt it would hurts everybody. 
and they actually held up remarkably well and charted very well. And quite frankly, NXT with competition, with AEW competition, bro, they did better than they do with no competition. So, yeah, everybody did great on Tuesday night. That's the story. My favorite show smashed them. What do you think some of these people would have done back in the day when it came to Raw being moved for the dog show and the U.S. Open and whatnot? I don't know. I think they would have complained about ratings there, too. Well, there was a lot of complaining in the mid-90s, guys. Don't, don't get us wrong. The difference was there was no Twitter. It was all confined to forums you know, and chat rooms and whatnot. People make fun of this super followers thing, but, man, my super follower Twitter is the greatest Twitter ever. It's like I post some stuff. Everybody's real nice about it. The comments are all polite, and, you know, everybody enjoys doing whatever. Man, that, that, uh, that commoner's Twitter... Oh, oh man! Golly, peasant Twitter. It is peasant. A Twitter. caste system now with the Twitters with you. I you really know? don't think four ninety nine a month is like a caste system here. Maybe they should get like a different producer to give the show a different kind of feel. Uh, actually, actually, yes. Maybe okay. they should put the cameras upside down. How about that? You know what they need is black and white. Or put him black and white, Jared. Make <laughs> so- him look as gold and gray as pot. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Jared, can you put Vinny upside down? There we go. <laughs> this is what's going to make this show better. We're going to review Rampage with Vinny on a different camera angle. Put it in an angle, though, Jared. Like, uh, yeah, add black and white. Now yeah. we're talking. Vinny, can you spike your hair up next week? <laughs> yeah, just put your hair up in a spike. <laughs> we'll, we'll have you doing the show upside down, hanging from the ceiling like a bat. The Vin right. Man. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.